Big cheers for Afghanistan's national wheelchair basketball team at its first international tournament. This team of disabled athletes traveled from the war-torn country to Italy to face the nation's champions. It's so nice for me. I, uh, I couldn't believe that I am in Italy. I am playing here in you know, a tournament with a very strong team, champion, the national team of Italy and the championship of Italy teams. It's, I'm so proud for myself and for all of my uh, other players, dude. Four years ago, these players were complete amateurs. Now they're playing against professional teams abroad. To them, this game is worth so much more than its score. Just being here feels like a victory. Some of them were born with disabilities. Others suffered spinal injuries from car accidents, but most are victims of the country's war. Ahmad Fahim Zaki was hit by a shrapnel in his spinal cord when he was eight years old. He has lived on a wheelchair ever since. Basketball, for him, was a real game changer. Uh, when I am in the court, I play basketball. I don't feel that I am a disabled person. I feel that I am a normal person in a, in a separate, as a normal person that uh, they work, they play, they have fun. Yes, I feel like them. Most of the players were treated in the Red Cross Hospital in Kabul. Once there, they went from patients to athletes. It was a challenge at the beginning because uh, we did not know how to play. We did not have wheelchairs for that. So it took some time to start. And then we managed to get uh, a trainer and the wheelchairs, and so we started. And then, uh... The game ended with a win for the home team. But the players from Afghanistan have achieved so much more. They bounced back from the challenges of being disabled in a country ravaged by war. Claudio Lavanga, Al Jazeera, Cantu.